Hi everybody, I wanted to set up a big band score for you. This will help you with your arranging projects. It will also um, help you with some of the issues that we've been having with saxophone transpositions. Um, this is how I do it. Obviously the instrumentation is going to be a little bit different for uh, the arranging projects, but you'll at least see it. This is Sibelius. Uh, first thing you do is you open Sibelius and you go to New Score. Um, and you select your document size. I use my score size, which is going to be tabloid. And I don't use a house style at first. I just use a, a normal house style. So I'm going to use Jazz Ink Pen. Um, it's what I like right now, I guess. And I start from blank. I don't start from the big band template because it does the saxophones incorrectly. It also names some things weird. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to change my instruments. And uh, I'm going to start from the top. I'm going to put in alto saxophone and then just add two of them. I'm going to go to tenor saxophone. And this is where um, a lot of you tend to pick the wrong thing. You want to check base, you want to choose bass clef treble transposition, add that to your score, and then baritone saxophone, and do the same thing. And there you have your sax section. Next is going to be trumpets. And you want trumpet in B flat. And you add, I use five trumpets in my big band, so I'm going to use five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Then next is going to be trombones. Um, you want to use the regular trombone, not the B-flat, treble clef, whatever transposition. That doesn't make any sense since uh, the Civil War. Um, so we're going to add, I'm going to write, SJB has five trombones, so I'm actually going to write four trombone parts. And I'm going to write a bass trombone part. There's really mu not much difference there. It's just the sound that Sibelius uses to set stuff up. And now I'm going to do my rhythm section. I'm going to do piano. I'm going to do guitar, and oh yeah, you got to use jazz guitar, otherwise it gives you not a guitar. And I'm going to move that up because I like my guitar above my piano. And then acoustic bass and nota whoops, notation, not tablature. And then drum set, and I'll use uh, jazz drum set. And I'll move that down for score order. And I'm also going to write my new project, the Willy Wonka thing I'm doing is with vibraphone. Um, so I'm going to add vibraphone here. And I'm going to add that to the score. And I am going to put my vibraphone right above the uh, jazz guitar. Actually, you know what? No, I want it uh, below the jazz guitar. And then you hit OK. And it gives you this. You're back here. Um, this new chart I'm writing is in 4-4 to start. Actually, no, I lied. It's in cut time. And I'm not going to do any of this first because um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with a pickup. Tempo test. Text is going to be fast. Swing. Um, I'll just put something here for now. I don't know if that's exactly what it's going to be. The chart is in D flat. <coughs> Excuse me. And. This is I want it now from Willy Wonka, um, and it is uh, newly in Bricus. I don't know if that's spelled right, but I'll fix that later. And then I always put a range Steve Guerra next. I can't put a copyright on it because I don't own it, and I don't create a title page. I do that separately. From here, I just create, and it takes a second, and there you go. There's the whole score. Um, and this has the correct saxophone transpositions. Now notice it's in uh, bass clef. If I hit transposing score, it puts them in treble clef and it has everything correctly. Um, back to I write in concert pitch. I also tend to write, this is something, I tend to write in um, the panoramic view. Um, I know some of you uh, have expressed that you were surprised that that even exists. So the panoramic view for me gives me more of a uh, sense of flow in the chart um, and you can use uh, command minus and plus and now I go in and do a couple things I'll change my this to be alto sax one that you might be able to do this honestly all together um, there might be a way to do it automatically I mean but uh, I don't do it because this is the way I do things and once I learn how to do something I tend to do it that way all the time so whoops whoops um, so I'm just going to number these. Now, it, it, the more stuff you can get set up, oops, I don't need two trumpet ones. 
the more stuff you can get set up in advance, the, the better. Um, Sibelius tends to uh, cause issues once you um, go back and try to edit some of these beginning settings. Uh, trombone, trombone one, trombone three, uh, trombone two, blah, 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 bass trombone, and then I have my rhythm section, um, and that's all good. Now, one thing that you need to do in Sibelius, um, the grouping groups all brass together, um, but technically your trumpets and trombones should be grouped separately, so you just take that and you dra click and drag it. I also like to do that with my measures, so you take that bottom measure and you click and drag so that it's, dra it's, it's grouped together. And then to create this group, you select the trombones. This is your trombone group. And that is going to be in notations uh, and just bracket. And now you have your three brackets. And if you go back to page view, which is shift P, now you can see that that actually looks pretty good. Um, yeah. A couple other things that I do beforehand, I go here in engraving rules. I go to my chord symbols. I make this chord text only. And then I um, go here to horizontal position under chord symbol and left align and OK. And you just say yes. And then the other thing I do, I do a couple other things. I go back to text styles and I make this bigger. Um, in the parts, I usually get around 15 or 16, and the score 14 and a half is usually good. And OK. And then bar numbers, I take out to start. Um, and then rehearsal marks, I use bar numbers. I like bar numbers better than, uh, than letters. Um, quicker and easier. So here we go. So if we put in a rehearsal letter here, just say with um, command, uh, not command B, command R, sorry. Command R, you get seven. And then if you move that around, it will move for you. All right. So if you have any other questions, I'll be making a couple other videos. I think this is uh, good for now. Uh, this gets you set up. And uh, happy writing.